It was my first day back at school uh, in sixth class after being working at home in the family farm for the summer. Unexpectedly got a half day, I arrived home early, dropped my bag, changed my clothes, rushed up the yard to see was there any jobs for me to do. Found my father and my two older brothers uh, working agitating slurry. My father asked me to go down and get his coat back down to the house. Uh, I think it was more he wanted me out of the way from the job they were doing. And um, I took a shortcut through the sheds and they had been agitating slurry and had lifted slats. There was two openings. The first opening I came to, I suppose I fancied myself as a bit of a, a Carl Lewis, a long jumper, and uh, I cleared the first one. And uh, unfortunately, when I came to the second one, my toe got caught in slats and I fell head first into the slurry tank. There was about six foot of slurry in it at the time. Um, <clears throat> I panicked. Um, I sloshed around uh, for, for quite a time. I was sure that that was it really, to be honest with you. Uh, I had the sensation of uh, in the tank going through a sort of a tunnel or a funnel uh, with a light at the end of it, uh, which wasn't a pleasant experience. But luckily the man above uh, got my brother to turn off the tractor because there was no particular reason for him to turn it off. So we stopped the tractor and they heard uh, moaning and they came obviously running looking. And uh, I do remember hearing voices uh, so all they saw was the, the, the top of my hair was, was sticking out of the slurry in the tank and um, uh, my brother Raymond, he climbed down, he reached up, uh, held onto the slats on top with one hand and uh, grabbed me with the other and between them they got me out. Uh, I don't remember much about that at that stage, but the, the first thing I remember after that was in the milking parlour being washed down and my, my poor mother coming in in, in an awful state. I think for farming parents, it's very important to see, to see that, you know, to, to uh, always expect the unexpected. There are always risks wherever there's open tanks, slurry, animals on a farm. You can't be overcautious, but particularly with younger children, that there is some area well guarded from a farm to restrict access. The kids watching this, if there are any kids watching it, I'd say to them, Farm is a fantastic place to grow up. It's a great experience, but uh, it's not a playground, and always be aware of that. I was one of the lucky ones, uh, but it just could have been so different uh, for, for both me. Obviously, I wouldn't be here, uh, and for my family uh, if I hadn't been rescued that day.